Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Purple Elephant Gaming, and today we're going to be playing some more outro. So apparently there's an event going on right now, bonus drop rate. So drop rate for all equipment in normal and hero mode is doubled, as well as their exclusive quest to get up anywhere from 20 to up to 50 normal or hero mode battles. That's going to be a lot. I'll might be farming for that off camera, who knows. But let's get into this. So today we're going to be hopefully finally beating Barons of Shadow, and if we do beat Barons of Shadow, we'll be trying out Cave of Bones. This might be a slightly longer video than normal, just because I might give it multiple attempts if we lose. So, yeah, let's get into this. As you can see here, I'm sure I've made a couple of upgrades since last video. This is level 40, my weapon. Almost level 40. All of my things except my the new three new pieces of equipment are epic and are getting close to level 40 which is pretty good i'm caught up on talents i don't think i'm caught up on he no i am caught up on hero level and i have 43,000 saved up which is mostly because i haven't played much since last time but anyways let's get into this hopefully this will be better than it was last time but I don't know. We got close last time. We made it to 9. And then we lost, which I've done multiple times now. So hopefully now that we've gone some much better equipment, honestly, hopefully it'll make this whole thing a lot easier. And by the looks of it, it will. We're clearly doing a lot more damage. Okay, what upgrade? Attack boost, sure. Okay, then we have Mr. Sand Dune guy. I don't know what his name Do all of the enemies in this game actually have names? I always assumed it was just like random things, like they had like a code name or something. But they could. They definitely could have real names. It would make sense even for them to have an actual name that they go by. But, I don't know, I just kind of think of him as like a sand snake kind of thing. Maybe I'm wrong to think of him like that, though. No real way to tell, I guess. Unless you're the creator. Or, I guess it's possible that there's some, like, guide to all the enemies that has their names. If there are names, once again, might not be names. I just assume they're names. Man, the lightning effect from the epic vest is really good. You don't notice it much, but it helps a lot. You can tell. Multi shot, yep, definitely taking that one. Was not expecting that one. Dodge those attacks, and this box fight is finished. What are you offering? No, I don't think so. I mean, it definitely could be worth it, but I don't know. I don't want to get that low on health. This annoying boss again. Sit in the corner and take it. That's what you do with all the annoying bosses in this game. If they're too hard to dodge, sit in the corner and take it. That was actually a kind of tough one. Dodge or shield. I went for dodge because my dodge hits is already pretty high. Increasing that's probably better than getting the shield, but I don't know. Could be completely wrong on that. Okay, Mr. Snakeys, I have to get rid of the snakes, and then this fight should be more than easy. It should be super easy. And by the looks of it, it is. Extra life. I would be basic. I would be down to like 3,000-ish. I'm doing it. Now I'm really low on health, though, so now I really need a max health upgrade. And I don't know if I'm going to get that. Oh, I hate those fire guys. Yes, please just get rid of them. Okay, that fire ghost guy is dead. I really need from this level up max health increase. Come on. Please give me a max health increase. You didn't rage. Okay, well, you know what? If I'm going to be low on health anyways, might as well be stronger because of it. That didn't go well. 
This is another one where I kind of just need to get rid of all the henchmen, and then the fight will be much, much easier. It's almost always true, though. With basically every fight in the game. If there's no one helping them, they're not that bad. But there's usually someone helping them. Bloodthorst, that's a pretty decent skill to get. From my knowledge book. Book of knowledge. Really could have used that health boost there. Doesn't look like we're gonna get it though. I also hate on this one, since every stage is a boss, you don't actually get to see what stage you're on. So the only way to see what stage you're on is when you lose. So, that makes things a little bit harder, too. I remember this guy being way worse, like he would run around a bunch. Maybe I'm picturing him- maybe there's like a stronger version of him that I'm picturing. This just seems like a more intense snake dude. There are two of them, right? Yeah. I feel like this is number nine for some reason. I could be completely wrong about that, but I feel like this is the ninth stage. Dang it! So many enemies! Or so many projectiles. I'm totally wasting my max or my bonus life here. I can just tell. Okay. It'll. If I get rid of one of them, this will go so much better. But getting rid of one of them is no easy task. I know that. I swear this is where I lose most of the time. Is on this foot. Wait! I got rid of one of them. Come on, oh, I feel like I can do this. Because here's the thing. Right now, I have an extra life. So, th yeah, wait, was that it? Oh man, I killed that with an extra life remaining. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's a lot of loot. Yeah, that's really awesome. I wasn't really expecting it to be that easy, I guess. Okay, now, um, we'll get these upgrades then. Enlightenment, I swear, because all it does is increases your max HP by a really small amount. The main reason books are good is just because of the ability. It doesn't matter if you have a rare book or a common book. It's not that big of a difference. At least that's what it seems like to me. Anyways, um... What am I doing? Let's try another one of these. We'll start this stage, as you can clearly tell. I've never done this stage yet. So let's... I'll do one attempt on this, and then I'll do one attempt on the hero stage that I'm on. Which I believe is the one right before the stage in the normal stage we just beat. If that makes sense to you. If you haven't played this game, that makes no sense to you. Even if you have played this game, that's that very well make that very well might make no sense to you. Okay, level up, Blaze. What have you guys been doing on your weekend? If your weekend isn't over, I know that depending on where you are, because for me it's Sunday. Depending on where you are, it might be Monday, it might be Saturday. I don't really know. There are big gaps in time zones. But if it's still the weekend for you, or even if your weekend's already been passed, how's it going? Slash how has it been? Though I, yeah. How's it going? Slash how has it been? Because I want to know. You guys. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like knowing, I guess. If you know what's going on, it makes things better. I have no clue what I'm saying right now. Let's just pretend I didn't say that, okay? And let's get on with the level. If You know what would be really awesome? If we could beat this stage and the hero stage I'm on, then we would have been three stages in one video. That would be a really good clickbait title. <laughs> I mean, technically it won't be clickbait, because we would have actually done it, but still. You know like a baby title I guess anyways we are on to the first boss fight I wonder what it'll be I have that much health I did not know I started with oh no I got one max 
health increase. Never mind. The wasp boss. I fought this one a lot during the challenges. It's not that bad. The only issue is how many bees it summons. If you don't kill them fast enough, you're in trouble. I feel like I'm overpowered for this area still. Like, this area feels easier than the boss arena. Though, I'm still on stage 10 of this, so I don't really know, I guess. It's a fifth as long. Oh, these guys are interesting. Because here's my general opinion on these. If you have lifesteal, they help you more than they hurt you. Because they're just giving you free life of the weakest enemy in the game. So if you have lifesteal, it's really, really, really OP. Like, super OP. I've farmed with them sometimes if I was really low health, but I had lifesteal. I would just sit there with one of them left. Make, try to, like, usually that's only doable if there's a wall or something, but. If there is a wall, you can do that. You can just wait for the, them to summon the enemies and use those to heal up. Because lifesteal does work on those guys, the ones they summon. That also actually helps with some of the bosses, like the bee boss. Makes some of those fights easier. Which I guess is kind of the point. Well, no, it's definitely not. The summons or the enemies that the bosses summon are definitely meant to make the fight harder. But they don't always do. They usually do, but they don't always. I've been going back and forth on that comment a lot today. Okay, let's go side arrows, actually. I have a lot of arrows being fired now. Now all I need is multi-shot, and then I'll be firing, like... Well, currently I'm firing... Wait, do I already have multi-shot? I do, don't I? I do, so I'm currently firing 10 arrows each blast. That's ridiculous. Like, that's super ridiculous. I'm firing so much. If I get double shot, that'll take me to 12. 12 blasts. 12 arrows. That's ridiculous. I mean, the ones on the side aren't helping much, but still. Front arrows. 12 arrows. Okay, that's the goal for this game. We're going to be seeing how many arrows we can fire. What? That's cool. This purple dragon's a cool fight, but seems really hard to dodge. Luckily, I do insane damage. I don't really have to dodge at all, because I fire 12 arrows at a time, and each one does pretty ridiculous damage on their own. And they're all homing. This is why this weapon's good. I know Bright Spear is better damage-wise, but the fact that this weapon lets you actually get use out of your side and diagonal arrows makes it OP. Because it just lets you get so many more arrows so much easier. It makes diagonal arrows really helpful. It makes side arrows okay. It makes diagonal arrows even better than double arrows. Which the Bright Spear doesn't really have, or any other weapon in the game doesn't have that effect. That's my personal opinion, at least. You guys can have a different opinion. But I feel like that's true. At least most of the time. That this is the only weapon that makes those upgrades actually useful. Crit Master. Crit Master is OP. It does tons of damage. Because crits are really strong. You know what I kind of feel like I need right now? I need Lifesteal. If I got Lifesteal, just the most OP upgrades. Or, you know, another multi-shot would kind of do that too. Then I'd be firing... 18 shots. Another HP boost? Okay. Did I just say HP boost? I meant HP boost. But I'm pretty sure that's not what I said. So many things to dodge. This is why I need lifesteal. You actually get an advantage when there are a ton of enemies. Not this. Without lifesteal, it's just more damage. More things you have to dodge. But you know, if I get lifesteal, I'll be completely broken in this character. This is the character I want in an endless run. 12 shots, crit master, a lot of health that I can exchange for the demons or whatever. They're called devil, demon, either or. That would be so good. Headshot, chance to one shot, that seems better. I'm having a hard time with hordes. This will help with hordes, sort of. Help with anything, I guess. 
Is that split bracelet or do I have a clone upgrade? Okay, I have a clone upgrade, cool. Because if that was just the split bracelet and it created like four clones, that would be ridiculous. Of course, you know, none of the clones except the split bracelet's clone. Actually, no. Just in general, none of the clones do anything. Because they're just firing a normal bow with one arrow. They completely ignore your upgrades and your weapon. Otherwise, they'd be too broken, I guess, but still. I'll take that. Now I'm firing, what is it? 14 arrows. Each blast is 14 arrows. Once again, super nuts. Super nutty. Okay, that bright spear... I don't know if that bright spear will, but if I get one more bright spear, I think that'll actually take me over the top to get an epic bright spear. Which is, of course, the point where it's probably better than the weapon I'm using now, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll switch over. When it gets to the point, if I got a perfect epic for both, then maybe, but I think I'll just keep the this weapon for now. Um, let's do side arrows. That'll be plus... Actually, I don't know if that stacks. If it does stack... Oh, no, it does. So that's an additional four... 18 arrows. I'm firing 18 arrows now. If I get another... If I get a multi-shot, I'll be firing 27 arrows at a time. This is broken. I'm really close to death, but this is broken. I have so many projectiles. Like, so many projectiles. It, that's insane. But I think I'm actually going to have to go for a heal now because I'm really low on health. I have a lot of max health upgrades, but I'm not gaining health that well. Because of that, I still need to be pretty good on my dodges. This is why I need lifesteal. If I had lifesteal now, I'd be set. Please, level 11 upgrade, be lifesteal. If it is, then this character's perfect, as far as I'm concerned. 18 arrows, or multi-shot. Multi-shot would also be super helpful. But if I can get just 18 arrows with lifesteal, that would be insane. Or, you know, 27 arrows with lifesteal. But that would require me to get my ability back up. Which I'm sure eventually I will, but I don't have it right now. So, you know. Oh, that just melts the stage. This is a good stage to have my upgrade on. Dang it! Um, let's do piercing. Piercing's really good with this weapon. At least I think so. This guy, this is just a measure of how fast you can kill him. Luckily, I'm pretty sure I can kill him pretty fast. Yes, pretty fast indeed, if I do say so. Okay, we're on stage 40. We might actually beat this stage. That would be awesome. I might cut it there, though, because if we do beat the stage, I feel like it'll be long enough. Though I would love to go for the third one. I don't think it's worth it, because the third one's another 50 stage, I feel like it would be too long. So, whether we die or win, hopefully win, when this stage is done, I will call it quits for today, and we'll see. My next video will probably be Minecraft Dungeons, because you know what, honestly, there's hype for it right now, I like playing it, I'm pretty sure you guys like watching it, so why not play some more of it? I just walked right into like three different projectiles. I'm so low health. This is bad. It's gonna come down to the- f I know it, I can tell already. It's gonna come down to whether or not I watch an ad to get over it, which makes my editing job a lot harder. Doable, but a lot harder, so preferably I won't lose this heal. This is gonna be heal, right? Heal. This health needs to last me to 49, where I'll get more hearts, hopefully. Which will take me to 50 on the boss fight. Dang it, this isn't one that this helps me very much with. Oh, dang it. <sighs> oh, yeah, this is a bad stage. Like, this is a really bad stage. It's hard, really hard. Okay, now it's just him. There we go, right? No. Man, those guys have a lot of health right now. Maybe I'm not overpowered for the stage. Maybe I just got really, really lucky with my upgrades. 
I think that's what happened. I think I just got really, really, really lucky with my upgrades. Smoke. That's that's a great skill to get when you max level. Level it fast. Wait, max level increased? Is that what it said? I don't know if that's what Smote did. Wait, did they buff Smote so it increases your maximum level? They buff Smote so it increased your max. It didn't used to do that. It used to just make you level up faster. Never mind, that was actually a really useful skill. I don't know what did that. Now, that's, that's way better. That makes Smote actually worthwhile. Because before it wasn't really worthwhile. It was like... You're spending an upgrade to level up faster. In the end, it'll hurt you, but for now, it'll make it better. Oh, I hate this guy. I think I'm dead. I think I'm 100% dead. I'm not surviving this guy. There's no way. There's absolutely no way I've lost. I'm positive of it. I would have to get some pretty lucky dodges, I can tell. Or not. Looks like I have my strategy nailed down. I still think it'll come down to a lucky dodge, though. Oh, that was close. Come on, come on, come on. You're so close to dying. That'll be awesome. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! We win. We won two stages today. That's awesome. Max level. Oh, no, max stage. And common right spear. Didn't we already have the meteors? I feel like we already had the meteors unlocked. That means I get all of these. That's awesome. You and you and you. Well, that is two chests for me. It's awesome loot, hopefully. Well, that's not good. Come on, obsidian chest. Come on, come on. Epic something. Rare falcon. Could be worse. Definitely could be worse. Okay, what next? Can we fuse three common bright spears? We can. Do we have two rares? Because I know we have two rares, but do we have two other uncommon or two other greats rather? No, we don't. We have one uncommon, so yeah. We do not have that epic bright spear, but you know what? I'm going to save this for later. We also don't have our perfect epic soccer staff, so... It'll come. I'm sure it will. Okay, let's get you, Chess. This will actually take me straight to 100. I was really lucky. And we're level 46. That's awesome. It's awesome, awesome. Achievements. About to make a bunch more gems from these. As always. So, yeah, that helped. Is that another chest? Yeah, we got another chest. Man, this is turning out to be a really good video. Ice Realm, there's a new ice. Book containing powerful frost magic, use it to get an active ultimate skill. Is this all of them? Did they add new ones? Cause they, or was this all four? Get a spell book. So yeah, this is all four. There were four spell books. That makes sense. We have... Knowledge, which I still think is best. I'm keeping the Enlightenment book, by the way, no matter what. At least that's my opinion so far. Out of combat doesn't seem that good. This one does seem pretty good, because it just helps your own attack. So, okay, Ultra seems good. Out of combat does not seem good. Ice Realm. Freezes surrounding enemies and increases own attack. I don't think that's good. I'm keeping the Enlightenment, because I think Enlightenment's actually helpful. Well, there goes all of our money on another talent. Recover. Healing effect of red heart increase. You know what? That could be worse. 50 more hearts per that. And now we're just saving 30% off right now. That's cool. And now we are just saving up for the 40,000 to upgrade to Anis. Yeah. Or we could go back on Meowgic. It would be a long way, but it could be worth now. This could be our chance to turn around. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to upgrade Tyrannus anymore. I'm going to spend my hero money towards upgrading Meowgic. That could still take a long, long time. But it could be worse. Definitely, definitely could be worse. 200 gems for 40. Dang it. I don't want to have to buy gold with gems. But that's turning out to be a more and more appealing offer by the day. 
Anyways, we unlock this. This is the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh last area now. Great. We're on hero mode, tomorrow or next time we play this more accurately, I'll do the Cave of Bones. Hopefully we'll beat it. If we do, I might give a shot at Baron's Shadow. And then I'm not going to be trying Silent Next Pants or Frozen Pinnacle. But yeah, I hope you guys had fun. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!